this is for React CarPlay version 4, this is the, the latest version, there's been a bunch of updates to it. Biggest one has been around performance um, in the underlying package Node CarPlay. These two guys have contributed a huge amount uh, and made some really good improvements to it. There's some, a few extra updates as well, there's CAN bus implementation, very basic at the moment, but that's kind of the first version of that. There's Pymost implementation, again, first version, but it allows you to stream audio over the most bus to your amplifier. And then the final update is configurable key bindings and a bunch of other settings that you can now update that you couldn't before. So if we just go over the install, which is the same as all the old versions, so I'll whiz through that. If you copy the repo link from here, and in the terminal, right, git clone, and paste that link in. This is running on Pi 5 and it's running on Bookworm. I'd probably recommend not going to Bookworm just yet. It seems a few bugs here and there, but it does work perfectly fine on it. So once you've cloned it, if you change into the directory, so cd react hyphen carplay, and then inside here, you want to run this file which is setup pi.sh so we do dot forward slash setup pi.sh and then enter that will run, that will down, download the app image it creates the permissions and it also sets a startup executable so it will start and launch if we just manually start this we'll go over some of the new new settings that are in it. So that's it launched, that's its home page. If we if I just plug my phone in, see it launches straight into CarPlay, so that's pretty much set up in just a couple of minutes. If we exit out by pressing the car icon, it takes you back to the settings page. So in here are all the new settings um, can adjust the width, the height, FPS, there's a bunch of settings for the car link it dongle. You can choose what Wi-Fi type you want now, that's a new one. You can also choose whether to use the microphone from the OS, so the Raspberry Pi or the one built into the dongle. You can choose kiosk mode, so it goes full screen. You can enable the Pi most by clicking on there, just put in the F block ID, instance ID, sync number, source address and then save and then when you plug your phone in it will automatically stream to the amplifier that's on that address. Got these drop downs for cameras so any video input will be listed here that you can use for the camera and same for the microphone. We've got a bindings page which is for your key bindings so if we was to rebind left to be left key, left arrow, does it, you just click one and then press the key you want to use. We come out, press save to save those settings and then you can exit out. So the last one on there is CAN bus. So if this is a fresh install you'll have to configure your CAN bus hat. So if we do sudo nano forward slash boot forward slash config.txt First thing you want to change is this SPI one, so you want to uncomment that. And then down the bottom you want to add this bit of text. This is to load the overlay for an MCP2515. So if you've got a PyCAN, you'd have this. The only difference you'd have is instead of CAN1, it'd be CAN0. I'm using the PyMost, which has a CAN channel, so I need to use CAN1. Control X and Y to save. So we've rebooted now, I'll just close down React CarPlay. And the first thing we need to do is bring up our Canvas channel. So we paste this in. I'm going to change mine to 125 kilobits. Now we can check if it's come up by doing IF config. And at the very top you should see CAN0 being active. 
So there's a few bits we need to be able to set up reversing, which is the only the only one active at the moment. So this is the the message that means reversing is active on my Jaguar. The can ID is one eight eight in hex. Um, byte one is the byte that we're interested in with a mask of one hundred and twenty eight. So we need these numbers in decimal. So if we open up a browser, we type into a search engine hexadecimal. I always use this website. And we can type in the numbers here to get what we need. So the ID is 188, which is decimal 392. The byte is 80. Which is 128. If we relaunch React CarPlay, go into the settings, go into the CAN bus. I've already filled these out, but that's where you then put these numbers in. So CAN ID 392, mask 128, byte is 1. If we now test it by sending the message, so CAN send, CAN 0. You see that then automatically loads the camera. If we turn it off by sending 0 instead of 80, it goes off and we can test coming on again and off. 